brunch, chicken and waffles. We've got a coconut waffle with a honey fried chicken. On this episode, we're gonna be sharing chicken and waffles with you guys. I'm Chef Winston. Welcome to Floribian Cuisine. Let's get started. It's all about the brunch this day. We are gonna have some flavorful situations happening. I love a brunch. Don't you love a brunch? My Floribian style of doing brunches this time, we are gonna take it to another level. I'm talking about using my Johnny Virgin Islands Johnny Cake Mix. We're gonna be making some waffles out of this. Some coconut waffles and a beautiful, beautiful, ugh, honey, crispy fried chicken. First thing first, we're gonna brand our chicken. A lot of you hear about brining turkey, brining chicken. Brining is an essential go-to method of keeping your chicken moist and very, very flavorful. And it's very easy. There's a lot of complicated recipes out there on the website, on the website, on the internet that you can follow. But this one I'm gonna do with you guys is very simple. And as we go through the process, you're gonna see how flavorful every additional ingredients. Gonna make it so nice, nice, happy, happy, and make it a winner, winner, winner. So check this out. What I'm gonna be working with today is some chicken legs. Chicken legs, that's right. And what I got here is a pot of lukewarm water. To this, I'm gonna add some brown sugar. This is the brine. All brine is is a very salty mixture that you're gonna pour over your, your protein. You can brine anything. You can brine turkey, you can brine pork. This is all a process of basically the sugar. What the sugar is doing is pulling out the, um, it's pulling out the moisture out of the chicken, of the protein, and the sugar is replacing, replaced into the molecules of the chicken, and it's, and it's causing it to be a nice, juicy situation. So what I'm gonna do, once this is all mixed up, it's all about chemistry, y'all. It's all about chemistry. All I know, it works very, very well. So with this, let me taste. Mmm, it's salty. I'm gonna add this gallon of water to this. Make sure it's nice and submerged. Okay? Nice and submerged. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna put this into the refrigerator to get a nice brine with chicken legs of this caliber up to six hours, okay? So we're gonna put this into the refrigerator and I'll be right back. Yes, so I pulled this back out of the refrigerator. That's been soaking, marinating for six hours. That's very, very vital for the brine to work. It's magic in the protein of this chicken thighs. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take this out and put it onto a paper towel and we're gonna pat this really, really dry, okay? I'm talking about flavor, flavor, and more flavor on top of this chicken that we are getting ready to start frying, all right? The next step is gonna be like, mm! oh, so good. So let's put this out of the way. And I'm gonna get some more paper towel and we're gonna make, like I said, we gotta make sure I pat this really, really dry, okay? Fried chicken! Floribian cuisine with Chef Winston, that's right. Season two is on its way. Fun, 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 and more flavor and more flavor, okay? So while this is there getting ready, drying, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the dredge. I'm gonna make the flour dredge for this chicken. Very, very simple. Does chicken have flavor? So we're gonna make a flour dredge and, and we gotta season this as well. So what I got, you can do this any kind of way, mess up your hands or whatever, but let me recommend this. Get a Ziploc bag or I got a very large plastic bag that I'm gonna add some flour, about that much. I'm gonna add some salt. Gotta make this taste good, right? Garlic powder. Yes, granulated garlic, I mean onion. Onion that is, not garlic. 
check this out. I've got some bacon powder just for that little poof on that. And black pepper. Put that in there. So basically I'm seasoning my flour. Every component for this fried chicken is gonna be so, so nice. We gotta make sure everything is nicely seasoned, right? Cover this up, twist, and we're gonna shake. Get this here nicely mixed together, okay? That's all we're doing, that's all we're doing. Mmm. My seasoned flour. Now, I'm gonna continue drying this. And let me check my oil to see where the oil is at. We're looking for the oil to be at about three, about 375. The reason I'm putting it at 375, most people fry their chicken at 325, 350. I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna start at a higher heat, 375 to 400. What I'm trying to do is get a nice color on it. Get a nice color on it, and we're gonna stick it in the oven. Let the oven finish cooking it. So you don't have to babysit this oil, and all this smoke, and all this aroma is in your house. Stick it in the oven on, ish, on, on a sheet pan with a rack. That's a good option to do it. So let me go check the oil real quick. The oil is coming up, I'll be right back. Let me get the oil to temperature. So the oil, perfect. It's at 175, close to 400, which is fine. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So of course, as, as I mentioned before, I got my seasoning flour here ready to dredge. So what I'm gonna do, a lot of people use buttermilk, but I'm gonna do a little different. I'm gonna take some regular flour, add some oil, um, water, add some water, and I'm gonna create a quick slurry, okay? So this chicken, can stick to have a nice coating. So when I put it into the seasoned flour, it's gonna coat very, very well, okay? Just a little bit of water. See that? This is what we're looking for. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, switch this around. The chicken has been patted very, very dry. This brined chicken is ready to roll, that's right. I'm gonna put this in here. Look at that. Put this in here like this. Then I'm gonna put it in to my flour bag. There you go, you hear that beeping sound? Oven is ready for you. Oven is ready. Put this in here. This dried chicken. So the reason I'm doing this, you can use buttermilk, you can use milk. So I really want this seasoning flour to adhere to the chicken itself. So by making this slurry, what we call basically is a flour and water mixture, or it can be a cornstarch and flour mixture. That's what a slurry is in a fancy culinary term. Okay? Now, check this out. Your Ziploc bag or a big bag like this, then we're gonna shake. Shake it and get it nice and covered in here without popping the bag. Be careful not to pop the bag. Let me get rid of this. Put this over here. Get it nice and coated. A lot of people do a double dip. Double dipping is good for that extra crispiness, but what I'm doing, this is gonna work just as well. Now look at this, guys. Ah, perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Take this out. Look at this. Get it ready. Mm. The seasoned flour is making this. Whew. I cannot wait to taste this. Shake off the axis. Look at that. Ah, follow me on this. Beautiful chick, beautiful fried chicken, chicken and waffles. The brunch episode, Floribian Cuisine with Chef Winston. That's right. We are making it nice, making it flavorful. Put this on the side. Now, we're gonna come on back here in the oil and we're gonna start frying. All right, so, my ch oh yes. The oil temperature is at 375, 400, which is fine. We're gonna drop this in gently. Start frying my fried chicken, my brined fried chicken. Looking oh so good. 
And of course, as I'm dropping it, the temperature is gonna drop. Looking good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at that. So what we're accomplishing right here with this high temperature, of course the temperature is gonna drop a little, but still the high temperature is gonna allow it to brown a little faster, and we're gonna stick it in the oven. Let me get a nice color on this and I'll be right back. Oh, beautiful, look at how beautiful this looks. Now, pay attention because we're gonna put this in the oven. We don't wanna get this too, too colorful because the oven is gonna take care of the rest, okay? We're looking for this light golden brown. Look how beautiful this looks. Could you imagine how crispy this chicken is gonna be? I'm talking about flavor, texture, and all around goodness with this. Look at that. So right now I got my oven set at 325 degrees. We don't want it too high because if it's too high, it's gonna color it. We want it to cook evenly. At 325 degrees into the oven. And we're gonna come back and check that. So we're gonna start on our Coconut waffles, that's right. I'll be right back. So the chicken is rolling really, really good inside the oven at 325. Remember that 325 is a good, safe temperature to continue cooking that chicken. Next, we're gonna make our waffle. We're talking about a coconut waffle, my Floridian style. Not only any coconut waffle, you don't need to make it from scratch. I've got the Chef Winston Virgin Island style Johnny Cake and pate dome. The ingredients that's in here makes an excellent, excellent waffle. So, throughout selling this package, or selling these waffles, or not waffles, selling this mix throughout the country, I encourage my clients, or whoever buy them from my customers, be innovative. Let us know what you have done with this mix. One of my customers actually made a waffle with this and they told me about how great it came out. So thank you so, so much, Cherise, all the way from California for giving me this great, great idea, which we're gonna share with you. I'll kick it up a little bit, with a little bit of elevation to that as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some of my Virgin Island uh, Johnny Cake Pate Mix, which you can also get at cateringcc.com to the bowl. Look at this. I'm talking about, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited about this because this is gonna blow your mind. To this mix, you can add, actually add some shaved coconuts as well. I don't have shaved coconut today, but we're gonna add some coconut milk. You can make this here a vegan option. Coconut milk, almond milk, even some just plain old water, okay? And this would make your batter Still flavorful and tasty. You don't have to feel guilty of what you're eating for breakfast. So what I got here is some unsweetened coconut milk. I'm gonna add to this batter. So we're gonna make it just loose enough. One thing when you're making um, one thing when you're making waffles or pancakes, you do not want to overmix. You want a nice fluffy batter. I mean, a nice fluffy waffle or pancake. So be careful on how much liquid you put in and be careful on how much you mix it. So even if you got some lumps left behind, that's fine. All of that is great, great technique. Cooking like a pro. Take this out. Okay, there's this right here. And we're gonna mix this, now look at this. As you notice, I'm just folding. I'm not vigorously serving this. I mean, stirring this. Add a little bit more coconut milk. Yes. Brunch, baby. I'm Floribian Cuisine with Chef Winston. Ha! I'm so excited to share this with you guys. The versatility of using my mix is like endless, limitless. A little bit more. I think. We are at that stage right now. Now, get your waffle iron. Have you noticed, you still got some lumps in here. Oop, you still got some lumps in here. Get your waffle iron ready. This waffle iron is ready and ready to roll. I've got some spray, non-stick spray. Spray your grits. Then you're gonna put this in here. 
add your waffle mix into your waffle maker. When you're making waffle, just put it into the center. Once you close the lid, it's gonna spread, okay? You may have some loose parts overflowing on the corners. That's fine, that's fine. Put a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. Coconut waffles, bring this down and turn it over. Let this cook. While this is cooking, I'm gonna check my chicken. I'll be right back. Oh man, this waffle looking really good. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Look at that. Woo! Coconut waffle. Yes. At home, get you a spoon or whatever. I got chef fingers, so I can do this, okay? Look at that, guys. How beautiful does that look? Ah! Yes! Now we're gonna go check out our chicken. We're gonna tie this baby up, make our glaze, and we're gonna, ah! I'll be right back. Yeah, so the waffle, beautiful coconut waffle is made. So now we're gonna make this beautiful Floribian honey butter. Floribian honey butter, a mouthful, but it's gonna be so, so, so flavorful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start, of course, with some butter. Add some butter in to a nice, Warm pan. We're not gonna bubble this butter. We're just making a quick, quick, beautiful, flavorful glaze. What makes it Floribian, you ask? Glad you ask. So we're gonna make it nice for you. This is here melting down. What makes it Floribian? I've got some diced mangoes. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Some diced mangoes. We've got some honey. Woo, look at that. Add some honey to that. Yes. And I'm gonna finish this here with a little bit of freshness. Just get some lime juice, put inside here. Put in, well, you can squeeze it, say, of course, I got my little dandy, handy dandy squeezer. Get a little bit of juice, just for that mm, burst of freshness. Not too much. We don't wanna overpower it, okay? This is what we call our Floribian honey butter. Turn this off. And we're gonna start building this beautiful thing together. The chicken is complete. The waffle is complete. The glaze is complete. Brunch time, time to plate it up. I'll be right back. Yes, so this glaze. Oh, my Floribian honey. Glaze is looking amazing. So let's get this plated. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this a little, little funky, right? And we're gonna build this up. Can you guys see me here? I'm gonna take my waffle. And I'm gonna basically stack this in an option like this so we can, oh, this is gonna be so good, guys. We looking at that? So let's get our chicken been cooking, internal temperature of 165. It's nice and cooked. Ooh, look at this. Nice and crispy. Chicken and waffles, baby. Oh, yes. You're gonna put the chicken on top of here. Looking good, looking good. Let's get another one right here on the corner. Ah! Excited, excited, I cannot wait to dive into this. Are you guys excited just like me? Oh, we're gonna take the, our Floribian honey butter. We got mangoes and a little bit of lime juice. And we're gonna just, look at that. This is the money shot right here. Are you guys getting this? This is the money shot. Woo, this is money, money, money shot winner. This is a winner right here, baby. Floribian style brunch. Oh, let's do it again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Brunch would never be the same. Call a friend, tell a friend, call a neighbor, tell them Chef Winston Floribian Cuisine is on. Season two, baby. Ah, one more time. Catch the slow shot. Oh, yes. I cannot wait to dive into this. So there we have it. This beautiful slow motion. Can you get that? The slow motion. And then, of course, as an option, we've got some hot sauce. 
So what I would like to do is this. Just a little drizzle of hot sauce. This is optional. You don't have to do this. Mmm. A little bit of toasted almonds on top. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. There we have it. Our Floribian chicken and waffles, Chef Winston style. We got a coconut waffle that was made with my pre-made Johnny Cake batter mix. We've got a beautiful brined chicken. The, 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 the chicken was brined for about six hours. We took it out and seasoned it in a very flavorful flour batter. And then we topped it off with this beautiful Floribian honey butter that has mangoes and a little bit of lime juice in it. That's all this is. All right? That's all this is. So, so beautiful. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Join me for the next episode for another great, fabulous Floribian cuisine with Chef Winston. Don't forget, check us out on Instagram, Catering CC. Check us out on YouTube, Catering CC. And for our spices and our Johnny Cake mix, check us out at CateringCC.com. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>